Hey, let me try this again and make better videos. Um, I'll work my way backwards this time and talk about my latest book, which is unknown. I don't have hard copies of this yet, but uh, I do have the little one that I printed off at home. And this is what the first page will open up into behind the cover. Um, it's I feel a little bit exposed on this one for my audience that would be kind of strange because you know my work is very very personal. Um, I take the you know, the personal this political thing very seriously. Um, and maybe because of that, i um, grown more and more careful in what I share as the years go on and, and about how I share. One of the things that I learned about writing and the responsibility of being an author is that when you write something down and if you care about posterity like I do when you have a hard time editing things or leaving things out, um, what you write stays. It stays with you. It doesn't go anywhere. Um, and it doesn't have to get more true. I find that often when I write something, I'm changed. You know, I had something in me and I had to get it out, so I got it out and now I moved on and I'm different. And reading old work, I'm sure for many of you who write and make things, it's very much the same. Doing your old stuff is not the same as it was when you made it. You, you made it already, and um, you, can't, you kind of don't need it anymore. But it does become a reference material for your neural, neural network, if nothing else. And um, so I've wanted to get more careful, more deliberate, and I, I hesitate to say more kind because I, I think that I, I have been kind and that it would be a disservice of my past selves to speak over them that they weren't compassionate when they were um, often often to my detriment um, but I I have wanted to get better at talking about ideas even when it's necessary to talk about events and people I think talking about the ideas is is more important but it, impossible to really talk about unless you have the concrete things behind them like events and people um, so in this one I've tried to explore that a little bit uh, like many of my works um, even though I, I pr primarily try to do poetry whatever happens happens and it's not always poetry in, in the strictest sense you know, sometimes it's prose, sometimes it's like a bad essay. Um, I, I was writing articles for DGR for a little while. Um, and that was another pretty intense learning curve about the, the permanence of speech. I think uh, <laughs> it's it's one thing, one thing in particular that I learned was that it's one thing to talk about your own stuff in your own work, but that when uh, someone else or an organization even um, takes on something that you've done and says, oh yeah, sure, it's fine, throw it in, um, you have to be as responsible as the organization about what stays there because what they do with it reflects on you and what you do reflects on them. And 
I uh, was not an experienced article writer. Um, so I, I got to see my work next to the articles of people that I admire. And of course, I read many articles before, but it's different when you write it. And, and seeing my stuff next to theirs was really striking. I was like, oh, wow. I, you know, I wish I'd done that part differently or uh, added this in. You know, because maybe the audience doesn't have this kind of shorthand for this, or maybe I should have left that out. You know, the awesome retrospect. So, um, articles have been coming up more, and um, there's one in here. It's the first time that I put an article in, as such, in a book that I put out, instead of just putting it out straight away to a, a publisher. So that's this book. Soon to have a cover that I can show you, or you could just buy it. Even better, just buy it. It's worth it. It's going to be awesome. Promise. Um, but I do, yeah, I want to try to make a nice video where I talk about my works and share a little bit of background on them, a little bit about the process. Um, show the covers when I talk about them. This is the last one that I published. Um, I actually wrote two, well, they weren't written, they're more pictorial. One's a, a architectural plan and the other one is a, a series of patterns for various crafts. There's weaving and bobbins and uh, stuff in there. I, I tried to put in all the crafts and all the patterns that I thought were really important and that I had spent pretty much my entire oh shit, <laughs> pretty much my entire adult life making. Well I guess I'm just gonna let that happen. So much for the good videos. Get to see my shiny shiny. Um, <laughs> so I yeah, I, I left in all the patterns and the craft stuff except for uh, my tablature. I haven't put out my music. I don't play my music publicly. Um, I don't know if I will publish what I've written for music ever. But, okay, so yeah, I, I ran a couple of other books through the copyright machine between this book and Unknown. Oh, goodness. Um, and they were mostly pictorial. They are not published yet. I don't know if I will publish them. I just wanted to have them available in a printed out form, so maybe I should stop this video.